Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and today we are back with another episode of Mazda Memorabilia. Today we have something a little interesting. Um, it's a little bit more arts and craftsy than actually something you can go and buy, but I'll explain that in a second. So, if you read the title or you saw the thumbnail, you know that this is a 3D printed rotor and housing. This was sent to me by my good friend Annie Morrison. We grew up together um, and unfortunately he moved away so we've been keeping in touch and he recently got a 3D printer and printed this for me. So, as you can see, this is the coolest part. There's a little dial on the back. And it actually spins around to show the motion of the rotary. Now, if you're unfamiliar of what the rotary looks like, well, you're in luck because... This is an actual rotor and housing out of a 1982 Mazda RX-7. And so, as you can see, kind of do a little picture-in-picture -picture thing here. It, when I'm showing people how a rotary works, it's hard to kind of move this around because this rotor is so heavy. Um, so, this really helps with that. It's, it's spot on. This is super easy to move. Uh, unlike this. Oh, jeez. So, I will leave uh, down in the description below the schematics schematics um, uh, for this, so if you want to print this, you can. Now, my friend Andy Morrison actually scaled this down, so it's a little bit smaller than usual. Um, the actual schematics one's probably about this big. But, let's take it apart. So, you have what actually looks like a steering wheel. You have the rotor itself, and then you have the little turn knob at the back, and then this is the housing that has the gear on it. And so what you do to assemble it is you push this little the little turntable through, then you put in your rotor, which you can be a little tricky to line it up. And then this, the red part goes in here, there's like a little peg, and you gotta line that up, and it fits in like that, and then once you're all done, boom, there it goes. So really, you can glue down the white to the red, so it'll kind of go a little bit better, because sometimes it'll, I guess, jump teeth or whatever. Um, but this is a really cool desktop piece to have, and it's really cool that it's been 3D printed. So I know in these videos I usually say price and rarity, but unfortunately I'm not going to be doing that in this video just because it all depends on if you have a 3D printer, you can just download it and print it, um, and that's super easy and not that rare. But if you don't have a 3D printer, if you don't have access to a 3D printer, it's going to be a lot more rare, and price varies to how much... Um, you know, if you want to do it all one color, you know, all one plastic color, that's going to cost less than doing the different colors and that sort of thing. So it's really going to vary um, per situation. But I really wanted to show this off. I think this is really cool. Um, and if you have the means, I know some schools are starting to get grants to have 3D printers put in them. I know my high school got one recently. This might be something you want to check out. Maybe you want to do this in your free time. So like I said, if you want to download the file of this, I'll leave it in the description below. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate the video, comment on the video, and subscribe if you really liked it. Take care, guys.